Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla. If you do not know who I am, I am a beauty YouTuber here on YouTube and I do all things beauty, makeup related, lifestyle, fashion, anything beauty related in that sense, I do it. So if you have not already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button to join the k -Bay family and also comment down below on what you would like to see, whether it be a review, a makeup tutorial, or a try on haul, anything of the sort, a challenge, I am down to do it. So today's video is going to be a little late, but that's okay, we're fine. It's going to be a review on the Morphe Concealer and Setting Powder. Today, I just received this a few days ago. I ordered this from Morphe. I don't know if it just recently launched or if it launched along with their foundations and their concealer line. Uh, I did purchase the foundation to review on my channel. However, I ordered it to go to the wrong address, so I never got it, uh, and I was too scared to go ask my neighbor if I could get my package. <laughs> so I don't know where it's at, but it was probably $12 or something like that down the drain. So let's not be reminded of that. I recently picked this up today so that I could review the two together because I didn't want to just review a setting powder. So I am currently in the middle of filming a prom makeup tutorial. So if you guys want to see that, please be sure to stay tuned for Friday's video because that is what Friday will be. And if you are coming from Friday's video, if you're watching my prom makeup tutorial and you got sent this way, then hey, how are you guys? I hope you guys are enjoying my videos on my channel. Please be sure to subscribe to enjoy some more videos. And also leave a comment down below on what you would like to see for my future videos if you're a new subscriber. If you are a loyal subscriber and you've been here for a while, then still leave comments down below. Uh, I have already applied my foundation and my eyebrows so now it is time to conceal and highlight and contour and all that jazz i probably should have contoured before we got into this but it's okay i'll just go back in with a little bit more concealer so on the website i am reading that it is available in 31 shades and it does cater to a lot of skin tones with their undertones not to mention because when i went into ulta this was saying i have currently have c 2.35 and it was saying how it was medium deep with yellow undertones or i'm reading here on the website it says medium with yellow undertones which is really cool because when i go to stores and they have testers they don't really have explanations of what each one's undertone is and whatnot so it was cool to see on each concealer how they took the time to make a little description in the store to show that this is what it's going to be. So if you have like olive um, undertones and you would know that if you look uh, at your veins, if your veins are green, you have olive undertones and blue undertones, you know, so on and so forth. So I have olive undertones. I wanted to find something somewhat light, but that would also go well with my skin tone. So it was mixed between yellow and golden undertones. Uh, I'm sure they're, they're probably gonna come out with more, but um, it's a really good shade range to start off with. So I got C 2.35 Warm, and the description here says that it's show, whoa, okay, hold on. I, oh my God, I thought it said shows blemishes. Okay, show blemishes, imperfections, and under eye circles, who's the boss, babe? You, this creamy AF full coverage concealer can multitask like a mofo, okay. <laughs> okay, whoever's writing this is awesome. <laughs> Uh, not only will it leave you with super blendable concealing power, it brightens and contours like nobody's business. Game on. And it says the benefits, 16 hour long wear, sweat proof, transfer, re re transfer resistant, water resistant, fragrance free, and paraben free. Ophthalmologist tested. Cool. Okay. And then it goes on to if you are um, interested in all of these shade names. Um, I do not have all of them to do swatches here. I just have currently what I have. Uh, but they start from um, each category, so they have levels. So they got like uh, zero uh, is a white concealer, so you can use that for your lip liner. Your lip liner, you can <laughs> you can use that to do an ombre lip. And if you are very fair, white would also probably be your highlighting concealer or an actual concealer to conceal your under eye circles or anything like that. Um, then there's level one, which is light, and it goes from like cool to neutrals and to warms. Well, not warms, sorry, neutrals pretty much. Uh, but they each have their different undertones. So they have pink, neutral, yellow, and all that kind of jazz. Then we have medium, which has neutral, warms, and cools. So there's pinky undertones, 
peachy undertones, golden undertones, uh, and yellow undertones in that. Then we have level three, which is tan, again, warm, you know, so on and so forth for each category. It has that, which is really cool. So if you guys want to read up on that, it has more of a description on the website. So if you guys are struggling and you don't have an Ulta or a Morphe store nearby you and you're forced to order online, then this has a really good um, explanation as to what the concealer is and what shade range would best fit you. So the bake and set powder that I got is in the shade Banana. Um, I was tempted when I, I'm definitely going to be reviewing Jeffree Star's new concealer and powder set on my channel. However, um, I didn't get the Banana powder. I got the beige or something like that. I was trying to get the one that was right before. I don't know. I ordered it off of Morphe because Jeffree's site was crashing, so I was forced to go to Morphe. But I mean, I love Morphe, aka we're reviewing Morphe, so. Bake and set your look for a bomb beat with these selfie-approved satiny loose powder. Ooh, satiny loose powder, so it's going to have like a nice satin finish. Uh, formulated to absorb oil and seamlessly lock in makeup, these babes provide a perfectly matte finish with zero flashback. Hello, close-up. So that's really interesting. I actually should have bought a brighter shade to see how well the flashback is on that to highlight better. The shade game, we have translucent, translucent rich, brightening pink, banana, banana rich. So there's different shades for your go-to. Uh, it's not just three different shades, which I know a lot of uh, when people come out with powders, they usually just tend to do three shades. Whereas here they have uh, five. So that's really, really cool. And there's also a description or a how-to steps in order how to use, like the directions, how to use this powder. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and check out the Morphe website. I will have it linked down below as well as these two products that I'm reviewing for you guys today. And without further ado, let's get started to see if this works. So I'm gonna be taking my Morphe Fluidity Concealer in the shade C.235 or C23.5. C2.35, oh my Jesus, okay. So I'm just gonna apply like I normally would, correct and highlight my under eyes. Right off the bat, she thick. I'm gonna see how far I can go with one dip into the... I may be putting on too much too, like I don't even know. All of this is just with one dip into, wow, that's awesome. So for one side, I'm gonna take a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender, and I'm just gonna blend that out. So this does blend really, really well, really smooth. It looks really brightening and really awesome. I can see a matte satin effect. Does that make any sense? Like it's a satin matte almost, like it, it's not, bringing forth any oils it's not dewy but it's not flat either like it's really nice like the light is bouncing off of it super nicely and i probably should have bought a concealer that matches my skin tone for the days that i don't want to put on any makeup this would actually probably be really good i like the way it blended out with the beauty blender but for the other side we're going to use a brush i don't have a specific concealer brush um, yeah, I don't have a specific concealer brush, but I'm going to be using my Morphe G40 brush. This is actually, I believe it's a foundation brush, but it's tiny, so it could be used for concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. Okay, so right off the bat with the brush, it does blend, but I'm noticing a little bit of, it just could be me, like a patch right here where it picked up and it's just not and right here. Um, so I'm just gonna go back in with my, I could just be really bad at blending with the brush because I hate blending with brushes uh, as far as concealer and foundation. Well, not foundation, as far as concealer goes, but it is really brightening. It actually doesn't look too, too bad. So, but I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it more with my beauty blender. So I'm noticing that it dries down really fast. Brush or beauty blender, it does blend out pretty well. Uh, I prefer the beauty blender better. Like the brush isn't that bad, but um, I did notice like, a few patches that just could be from me not really being able to blend with the brush really well. And also it's not a concealer brush. Um, so of course you can use whatever brush you want, but I just feel like I like the 
Beauty Blender a lot better, so I would say a sponge. Before we go ahead and bake, I'm going to contour my face really quick, so I'll be right back with that. So as far as packaging goes, this is really cool. I actually really like this and the concealer. I love the little artistry brush, by the way. I just had to throw that out there because the packaging is actually really nice, and it's going to look really good in my uh, collection. Okay, so this looks awesome because like in the little, like, um, what, do you, what do you call this, pot, I guess? I don't know. Um, in the little jar, it looks like yellow. And on here, it looks like a bright, light yellow. So it brightens, but it also has that yellow effect to it. Oh my gosh. There's a little bit of a tightening feeling. Okay, no, it doesn't have a scent. I thought I smelled something. <laughs> I'm just inhaling powder. Okay, I'll just sit for a second and do my eyes while I wait for this to settle in and bake. So my overall thoughts of this concealer and powder as a duo, it's actually really amazing. I love the powder. I love the finish that it has to it. Oh my gosh, I feel like it's not budging and not going anywhere for a long period of time. So I cannot wait to incorporate this on my everyday makeup look and I am so glad that it's affordable. So that is amazing for the price point. It's really good. For as far as the shade range, I think it's amazing that they incorporated a lot of people's skin tones, but not only that, the undertones. Yeah, we want a wide range of tones, but we also need undertones too because like Jeffrey said in his video when he did, his or his reveal for his concealer is that not everybody's just light or tan with a olive undertone some people are tan with pinky <sighs> undertones overall it looks amazing my skin looks flawless it covers up really well and it gives a really nice satin finish i am super happy about that it's not just like a flat matte it's like a really nice you know finish it's, it's just it's gorgeous i love it so would I say that this is worth your purchase? I would definitely say so. Yes, it is because it covers up really well. It gives a really nice satin finish. So it's not too flat, not too matte, but it doesn't also dry up my face like crazy. I absolutely love it. It looks amazing. Not to mention that the price point is really, really good and you are more than likely to find a shade that matches your skin tone or what you're looking for as far as highlighting and contouring, I was going to con say concealing, as far as highlighting and contouring, there's a vast shade range and I think that it is just amazing and I, I think that it, this is very worth your money. So with that being said, I'm going to leave you with that and be sure to leave in the comments down below if you decided to purchase it and if you liked it yourself or if you disliked it, I would really like to know if it worked for you, if it didn't work for you because again, everybody's skin type and you know, preferences are very different. To me, I absolutely love this. I'm going to be incorporating this in my everyday routine and I'm super excited to be using this as well as a powder that is so accessible to me and <laughs> that is so inexpensive and actually works really well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and if you would like to see more reviews or what you would like uh, what you would like for me to review on this channel so that I can go out and purchase it and plan out a better review video for you guys uh let me know what i could do better in the future on my review videos if you do like them or you feel like it was missing just a little bit of something let me know in the comments down below so i can be sure to incorporate that because i am you know new to reviewing i'm not super new to reviewing i just not not that experienced with reviewing okay and lastly be sure to subscribe to my channel to join the kbabe family it's it's right there it's right below or wherever you are at on your mobile device or wherever you're 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 watching me on. It's it's somewhere. Okay, it's it's there. <laughs> and I'll text you in the next one. Bye guys.